Ready for the graduate and why? Good. Good. Happy proud father. Thank you. Okay. Okay. You. Uh, let's go. Chalo. Anuja's apartment. This is a so, Sumit's apartment. Graduation. Last day of apartment now.
and it has probably been the driving I feel that I'm advocating for other Indian Americans. We have all been part of various culture shows or other events that celebrate the rich diversity of USC's and family and its faculty, staff, and students. We have all become past several years. After today's commencement ceremonies, many of us will be going our separate ways. I, for one, have still not found a way to tell my parents that I'm moving back home after graduation. <laughs> For most of us, today will be our last day. Or a philosopher and a warrior, an exemplar of public service and an advocate of personal sacrifice, an author whose life has been guided by duty and honor, you have recorded for history to give this commencement address is a great honor for someone who graduated fifth from the bottom. Anything is possible. If my old company officer at the Naval Academy were here, whose affection for midshipmen was sorely tested by my less than exemplary behavior, <laughs> today in the chorus of congratulations to the class of 2004. This is a day to bask in praise, and you've earned it. You've succeeded in a demanding course of instruction from an outstanding university. Life seems full of promise. Such is always the case when a passage of life is marked by significant accomplishment. Today, it must surely seem as if the world attends you. But spare a moment for those who have truly attended just once, or resolved at one time, and thus permanently fixed the course of your life. Many of the most important choices one must make emerge slowly, sometimes obscurely. Often they are choices you must make again and again. Once in a great while, a person is confronted with a choice, the implications of which are so profound that its resolution affects your life forever. But that happens rarely and to relatively few people. For most people, Life is long enough and varied enough to overcome occasional mistakes and failures. Now you might think that I'm now going to advise you not to be afraid to fail. I'm not. <laughs> Mr. President, it is with pride that I present these candidates. They have completed their course of study and are recommended for their respective bachelor's. Please be seated. I salute you. Please be seated. Of education, the Doctor of Musical Arts, the Doctor, the Doctor of Planning and Development Studies. Steez, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree or certificate for which you have been recommended by the faculty with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that an appropriate diploma of the University of Southern California be presented to each of you, signed by its officers, and embossed with the seal of the university. You are now officially graduates of the University of Southern California. I should also like to recognize some very...
chat.
मलक मलक खेल रहा है बराबर ना हाँ जो चल चल क्या देखा है इसे सॉफ्टवेयर क्या चीज़ है? कबूतर नहीं, I don't know कहाँ जिस चीज़ में हार करने लोबा चाहे। I don't know where ever he is। पहली बार जितने अंदर थे वो तो याद है। ना पढ़ा है चाहे। नहीं, मतलब पहला जाए। Cool, I can just see where ever he is। Hey, they want to come. Chocolate's roommate. Yeah. Oh, like. yeah, the very, not by yeah, the 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 just the 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 Okay, good, all right. Uh,
Harris for the invocation. The Reverend Davenport, would you please come to the podium and lead us in the invocation? This is the day that you have long sought, this joyous day of pride, well earned. Pride that you now wear upon your very sleeves. Pride expressed by your loved ones, family and friends, in sweet embrace. And this is the day that marks for you the ending of spring, the long season of preparation now complete. I would like to thank all of the participants in today's ceremonies, and it's my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Joseph Becker Miller, Vice President for Health Affairs at the University of Southern California. School of Medicine at the University of Southern California. Of all the days in the academic year, the most gratifying is graduation day, the day of recognition and celebration. Unless one has experienced it himself, it is impossible to appreciate what difficulties these new graduates have had to endure to reach this day. For completing this task successfully, they and you and their families are all to be congratulated since it would not have been possible without your support. I would also like to thank the faculty who have also devoted themselves to the successful completion of the course of study. I've chosen two of its members to acknowledge this occasion on their behalf. Our first speaker will be Jeff Sow, PhD candidate, following his address, Michelle Abadjian and Nilesh Bora, co-presidents of the class of 2000. He has served as a teaching assistant and is proficient in cancer biology, specifically lung cancer. In addition to his academic success, Jeff has served as a School of Medicine graduate. Wow, a lot of people out there. <laughs> Hi, today I've decided to invite everyone from the grad student experience, since many of you don't know what we as grad students have to endure. Since many of us out there are so used to hearing lectures after lectures after real, silent lectures. I decided to bring back all the memories and goodness and outline for us to to follow. I'll begin by talking about the four factors that affect the life of the grass here. One, questions all grass students are tired of hearing from our friends and family. Two, taking classes and choosing a lab. Three, the all credit qualifying exam. And lastly, that I know I can speak for all the grass students when I say there are oh so many questions that we are tired of hearing from our friends and family. So I've compiled a list of the top five questions. What exactly are you doing? And what are you studying? Question four. What are you doing afterwards? <coughs> Question three. What? You are still in school? It seems like you've been in school forever. How long have you been in school? Question two. A doctor, huh? Do you want to hear the <laughs> And the number one question is, are you finished with school yet? When No one had any idea about how bright the future would be for our class 
and then move so quickly to prove they have the right to stop. No one that is, except the school administration. They knew from the moment that they accepted us that it would be special. In fact, they were so excited about the that they were coming, they decided to rename the USC School of Medicine as the Cat School of Medicine at USC to celebrate our classes of while other fair books to children at the pediatrics hospital, while still others facilitated science fair projects at local elementary schools. We hosted Eli, an annual tradition for medical students to combine their respective talents into an evening of entertainment. Those of you who were able to attend might remember how inspiring these shows were, ranging from hilarious hits involving infant medical students to educate hip hop, swing, and Margarita and other teens. Despite the workload, Life was good during the first two years of USC. Life was the only exam properly published, and we collectively flipped out, spending hours in our crazy darkness and trying to pull our practice test scores with what we might really score on the internet material. It was through these conversations and patient care experiences that we began developing a sense of our collective values as physicians and a newfound appreciation of the stressors and sources of joy in our respective lives. We watched with admiration as some of our classmates had children lend a hand when the tragedy struck, involved in the community, and had sources of friendship, intellect, and support. All by the sun we turned to the civic economy, this was the altar. I have enjoyed the past four years, and I will miss the friendships that we have shared during our time together. This class is a special group, and we are graduating the resources to accomplish both our professional and personal goals in a meaningful manner. I must mention that every person in this auditorium has played a role in our success. Without our families and friends, where would we be? I know that we have thanked you multiple times, but let's see. <laughs>
Give the world the best you have and you'll be in your feet. Give the world the best you have and you'll be in your feet. Give the world the best in ourselves. You and I know that as individuals, there are a lot of things we can't control. A lot of external factors are just beyond us. We can't control the world economy. We can't control population growth. We can't control natural disasters like fires and floods. We can't control when the disease will break out, an epidemic will spread. We can't control when a terrorist might attack or a war might break out. We can't control which companies are going to buy which companies, which jobs will be created, which jobs will be eliminated. We work hard, we prepare, we seize opportunities. We've got to do that. We join with others to try to influence those external events. We ought to do that. But there are a lot of things out there that we just can't control. What we can control is our inner lives. You and I need to decide who we're going to be and how we're going to live. And we can live our most cherished values. And we can be close to our family and friends. And we can do what we know is right and good and true no matter what. No matter what. And the good news is, that's where people have been finding a lot of personal meaning for a long, long time. And even better news is, personal meaning is a key to being deeply happy. What do I mean by deep happiness? I'm thinking of something that really touches your spirit. I'm bad. You can't do it anyway. That's who you are. That's your character. That's your spirit. I've actually had three people now come up to me after different presentations and say something like this. You know, Kevin, you must have been having a pretty bad year when you wrote those graphs.
We are pleased to recognize his achievements today with the Elaine Safety Hospital.
Shane John Cole. Thank you. 
this oath and ask you to repeat. Of the physician and all gods and goddesses, and by whatsoever I hold most sacred, that I will be loyal to the profession of medicine and just and just and practice my art in uprightness and honor. Whatever house I shall enter, it shall be for the good of the sick to the utmost of my power. From wrong, from corruption, from the tempting of others' device. Exercise my art solely for the cure of my patients. Perform no operation for a criminal purpose, even if solicited, far less suggested. See or hear of the lives of men and women, which is not fitting to be spoken, wildly in secret. Both and break it not. I enjoy honor in my life and art for all time. Doctor of Philosophy graduates to also please stand by their degree. To the people who have shared experiences here at the Keck School of Medicine, the University of Southern California, and the LA County University Medical Center and our other affiliated hospitals. I would like to particularly on behalf of the class and on behalf of all of us in the Keck School of Medicine, to please give the benediction. A calling to fulfill. Physician, surgeon, explorer of cells, the world awaits you. Live the dream that brought you to this day. Recall your oath, your vow. May it guide your every choice your care. And may the one who gave you breath, whose stars your path had lit, look well upon you through life's seasons all. Summer
get word of it. Five good, years good, later. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Last one. Good. Last one. Okay.